What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Nick here. I'm at the Ontario AMC 30. And as you see right over my right shoulder there, we're about to check out George Clooney and Julia Roberts and Money Monster. So uh, let's get in there and check it out. It's 1.30. It's about to start. Yeah, let's get in there. All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Theater 23, Money Monster, George Clooney, Julia Roberts. George Clooney is a uh, financial advisor that has a financial advisor pundit type character that's on television who has a show advising people on the stock market and such like that. Julia Roberts is a producer and the guy comes inside the studio with a gun and all hell ensues. So let's check out what that story is going to turn out to be. Directed by Jodie Foster. Let's get in there, y'all. <laughs> Yo, Money Monster was very good. Money Monster was really good. Um, it's funny because um, I saw a trailer for Money Monster. I was like, ah, looks like something. It'll be cool. Wasn't really thinking nothing of it. Come to find out, it's actually very good. J Jodie Foster's best movie she's ever directed. Um, I remember when I saw the trailer also, I said that it looked so much like uh, Inside Man, uh, Spike Lee's joint from a couple years ago that Jodie Foster was in with, with Clive Owen as a star. And uh, this is actually way better than that. It's actually way better than Inside Man. Not to say nothing about Inside Man, but this is just a very good suspenseful film of a uh, hostage situation. And, um, yeah, um, but, yeah, I would say that, uh, yeah, Jodie Foster did a solid job, and, uh, George Clooney was definitely good, but, uh, it's actually, it's actually Julia Roberts that is actually the best in the film. She did a really good job, uh, as the captain of the ship. Uh, this is the, the director of the uh, the fictional financial show that George Clooney was hosting. But she really uh, carried this film herself and made it highly enjoyable. But also, uh, shout out to Jodie Foster for kind of uh, giving the general public point of view, making sure that, it, you know, it's shown that if this hostage situation was going down live on the air on some show that it'll definitely be something that the general public would be glued to the television on as far as peeping and uh, they'll definitely be acting a fool, offering their opinions and everything like that. And it was kind of funny to see the different uh, other shows, other uh, news programs offer their live opinion and everything like that too. So uh, definitely have a good, good time watching uh, Money Monster here. I'm glad I went out and saw it. I was going to see Captain America again, but... Um, I'm glad I decided to go check out Money Monster here. So y'all should definitely go to the theater and check it out yourselves and uh, give uh, Jodie Foster some support as she made a dope, dope joint. So, um, yeah, it's your boy Neek here for me in the movies at the Ontario 30 Theaters, Ontario uh, AMC 30, and uh, we just saw Money Monster, and it was dope. It was dope to hear on the way out the credits, the uh, little joint from uh, Dale the Funky Homo Sapien. I recognize his voice. I believe that was him. But um, also the uh, actress who played Diane in this film, she was a tall British woman, tall brunette British woman. Oh, my goodness. Uh, she was darling. I was like, how come she's not playing Wonder Woman? <laughs> we'll find out who she is. But, um, yeah, my man Giancarlo Esposito as uh, the captain of the um, police force. Uh, handling the hostage situation. It was just an all-around solid film. I really enjoyed myself watching this movie. Now I'm going to go back to the crib piece and just chillax. Because that's what happens when you watch a good movie. You feel nice and good. And it's like, yeah, nice, nice, nice. What else is there to present?
and this L-I-F-E. So it's your boy, like I said, Nate, here for me in the movies. We just saw Money Monster here at the AMC Ontario 30s. Peace to Jody Foster for directing a dope joint. And uh, George Clooney and Julia Roberts for being in a very good film. Hopefully this will make some money for them and they'll be, uh, you know, people will say, yeah, they're movie stars. That's how most movie stars do, they make a good movie. Anyways, enough breezing. It's your boy Nick and we out.